Hello and welcome back to Football Manager 2022 as FC Eindhoven. Um, so, a little bit of a change to my plan. I I was recording the videos and I realised that if I'm going to do it the way that I want to do it, that I was doing it even, and I um, do one video a week, which is all I can do at the moment for this playthrough, I will probably not finish the season for like a year because it's going to take so long. So I had a little watch of some other people playing uh, Football Manager. Uh, the guy that I checked out who I actually really liked his playthroughs of um, Football Manager were, was Loluju, L-O-L-L-U-J-O, Lolujo, Lolujo. I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but he, he has a really good setup for how he records his videos. So I'm going to kind of nick that a little bit. And here's the plan. So where I left off, we just played FC Dimbush, I believe it was. And so I played some more games outside of um, outside of recording. I'm going to play the next three or four games for this video. Then I'm going to leave it uh, and play these games outside of um, recording. And then I'm going to play some more games in the mid-season. And then I'm going to play some games outside of recording. And then it's going to go like that. So then it will only take three to four videos to finish a season. Whereas it would have taken probably somewhere between 10 to 12 videos before. I feel like that just builds up better. And at the start of every video, I'll just go through what happened in the previous like games. And if there's any changes to the team and stuff like that. So let me know what you think. If you prefer this kind of style um, or not. And if there's anything that you would change. I'd love to hear some feedback on it. Uh, things like that. So yeah. Where we left off. We were playing 4-4-2. Wing play. And we had won two games. Lost two. Um, I then went on to play four more games. We lost three. 1-1. One, one. Um, and basically uh, haven't done great so far in the league. Uh, these were some... So Naka Breda and uh, Den Haag were both, I think, top of the table at the moment. So if we just have a quick look at the table. Oh, wait. No, they're not. They're 12th. So we, should, we shouldn't have lost as heavily as we did to Den Haag. But uh, Naka Breda or Nak Breda are... Second, so it was gonna be a hard game anyway. We're we're not at that level quite yet. We probably need another season to build up our team. Uh, MVV was a bit of an annoying game because we we actually were playing pretty well in that game, and we just we we dropped our concentration. So um, the only changes to the actual team, I'm working on bringing in some l left uh, wing backs and. Um, that's a staff member that someone else is, uh, someone else in my team is bringing in. So I'm bringing some, a loan and a free player left wing back um, in uh, because I'm going to change the tactics a little bit probably January. At the moment, I can't. Um, we also have, if I go to, where's my transfer history? There you go. Um, signed on loan, this young uh, Birderidian. Birderidian? I think that's it. It's from Burundi. Um, not really sure where that country is, to be honest. Uh, 20 year old striker. He looks all right. I'm paying nothing for his wages. The feedback from uh, <laughs> the fans and the staff was an, very poor. It was an E. But, you know, I, I, I thought he's got really good teamwork and work rate, which is something that you need for a striker, I feel. You want someone who's going to work hard for you. So um, his finishing is pretty decent as well. He's quite a, quite a good penalty taker. I'm not sure why they're not crazy about us um, signing him on a f uh, basically a loan where we don't pay anything. I'm playing him up front at the moment just to see how he plays um, for the first four games. He came on as a sub on the first game and then I gave him three starts. He's got two assists already and he's playing all right. So, and he's doing better than some of our other players like Demai. I don't think quite deserved his place in the team. So the only other change as well is uh, Cass Faber is back from injury, but he isn't great. So we're just going to leave him off for now. I'm going to see uh, what happens. So we're going to jump in to the next game. We are sitting 14th, 
not terrible at the moment, but if we don't get a couple of wins under our belt soon, it's going to start to be a worry. Uh, we're playing Rhoda JC, and they are a little bit above us, probably have a little bit of a advantage over us, so um, hopefully we're going to be able to get a win. Playing with the same sort of team you've probably seen, apart from, uh, I'm going to call them Nishi, because I'm I'm not going to be able to pronounce that full name. So Nishi up front um, is the biggest change. I've also changed their playing roles to suit what they prefer to play as. Uh, just to see if that gives a little bit of an edge as well. We're struggling defense-wise, which is why when I get the wing back in January, we're going to switch to that. Five defenders, a couple of midfielders, some attacking mids, and then one striker. I think it might give us a little bit of an edge. So, um, yeah, but this, uh, this role... Uh, this uh, formation, although it's not given us great uh, results at the moment, it will do. I have faith in it. So we're going to jump in to our first game back in the video. And we're going to go to match and hope that we can grab ourselves a win. I hope. So let's go to the dressing room and we're going to say... Oh man, every game, especially in the league at the moment, just seems to be everyone expects us to lose. Um, but I know maybe underdogs today, but that suits us go and cause a few surprises. I mean, no one really reacted. Uh, I might just say to the attackers, I have faith in you because he's, he's getting a bit nervous. And actually, I'm going to say that to all of them. No one cares. <laughs> no one's feeling good apart from, uh, Van der Sand. So there you go. We're going to, we're going to jump in. And hopefully get, get a result out of this game. Overall, morale isn't terrible. It's just we're not doing great um, sort of uh, results-wise, which is for causing morale to drop a little bit. I, but they don't hate me at the moment, which is always a good sign. Um, um, yeah, let's just wait and see what happens. Okay, first chance is uh, for Roda. They're passing it around quite nicely. On the edge of our box. No one's doing anything. Come on, boys. Close. Yes. That no. <laughs> Come on. That wasn't a penalty. He dived. I can't believe that. We have been robbed there. It's going to be a goal. We don't have a keeper that's good at saving penalties. So, 1-0. And we're fighting back again. I'm going to encourage. Oh, that's the wrong button. I'm going to encourage the entire team. And, um, yeah, let's skip that. We don't want to see that again. Uh, and then we're going to go attacking. We need we need a result. We're going to have to chase the game now, which is not where we want it to be. Overall, keeper and defender, Vermeulen, uh, playing pretty well. Amivor, I probably will have to take off. He's playing. But then Raz and Seedorf both playing pretty poor as well. Um, Amivor is coming off. Just because of that mistake, it was. It's not, you can't get past that. I mean, it probably was a dive, but we have to. Uh, and then, actually, one minute. If we. Who's to bring? Yeah, I think that might be the move to do. Which is the best position? Fullback defend. Let's put me in fullback defend. And. Us to bring. Centre defend. Instead of cover, we'll put him as defend. A couple of changes in defense. And then we've got Raz, who's playing pretty poor. If we make that change, we've got no more changes, I don't think. But we'll put on... I think Dalhouse might be a replacement for Raz. Raz was playing well at the beginning of the season. Not playing so well now. Um, better display. Wasn't good enough. But we have the second... Uh, here you go. Let's see. Let's see what they say. They, I'm not going to give them the opportunity to say that we we were going to lose anyway. I want to see them put in a, a decent try at least. Okay, another chance for their throw in. We don't seem to be doing anything attacking wise at the moment. Okay, Pjornberg, nice. Paulinho to Van der Sand to Dalhouse. Come on, boys. Virginia on the overlap. Back to Dalhouse. Oh. Come on. Well, we'll track back by Virginia to slow it down and let us get our shape back at least. But I feel that they're going to get a goal in a second. They're going to hoof it forward here. No one's closing. 
Okay, Vermeulen to Paulinho, to Vermeulen to Brim. Paulinho forward. Ah, oh, the young'un. Ah, oh, that would have been writing his name in the good books for us, but um, good run by him. Not quite. Corner to them. Osterbrink out. Okay, but they've got the ball again, and they're coming for us. Ustenbrink, nice. Another solid clearance. Come on, boys. We need the ball. We need to hold it. Oh, man. They just, they're so comfortable with the ball in our half at the moment. It's not good. Nice, Paulinho. Van der Sand. Sleggers. Back to Oosterbrink. Up to Van der Sand. Down to Dalhouse. Back to Van der Sand. He's the boy to score at the moment. No, he's not. <laughs> Come on. Much more positive, though. We're getting there. Virginia to Van der Sand. Back to Sleggers. Sleggers. Oh, come on. Absolutely spaffed it. Oh, and <laughs> Paulinho chucked someone on the deck there. Uh, they're still coming at us, though. He puts it in. Header, goal. Damn it. I thought we might be able to get our way back in this game if it stayed at 1-0, but 2-0 is... We're done, aren't we? Uh, we tried our best. It just wasn't to be. It's a hard game. It's one that we're underdogs for. Um, looks like we might have one more sub. I uh, could bring off one of the strikers, maybe, try and get an attacking edge, but at this point, I think we probably just let the, the lads play it out. Bertram's up to Van der Sand. Uh, it doesn't challenge for it, so it's just another attack. This is the problem. Like we lose the ball midfield a striker, and they're like, and then it's just they're on us. They keep attacking us, and we're we've got nothing to do with it. We can't seem to fight back. So a bit frustrating, but we uh we go again. Hopefully, we're not going to get relegated this season. Um. We just have to wait and see what's going to happen here. Yeah, Vandermoot. Oh, nice. Do you know what, though? Bertram's been solid for us nearly every game, to be honest. There's one game where he had a really bad game. It's the 5-2, 5-3 that we lost. But uh, other than that, he's been an excellent goalkeeper for us. So it's nice to have that. So we don't have to try and build up using a goalkeeper that's not, not doing great. Oof. Nearly another one there. Pjornberg, nice out. Paulinho. And I don't think we're going to get anything. Nishi doesn't seem to be the uh, impact that I wanted him to be. Pjornberg easily beaten there over the shoulder. But luckily, the their player absolutely skies it over. Okay, dressing room. I'm not going to say, like, you did yourself proud. No, I don't like what I saw. Only Sleggers was demotivated. Everyone else motivated. Good. I want the team to play better. And I'm not, they're not going to do that if I just keep saying, oh, well done, nearly. So, yeah, we're going to go on to the next game, which is uh, da, 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 top OS. And I believe they're, like, bottom of the league. So this is a massive game for us. Yeah, we need to win it. Okay, so we have got our next game coming up, top OS or Oz. Um, not many changes I'm going to make to a squad that lost. Um, I want them to get used to playing together. Uh, actually, scratch that. We have got one change. We're going to bring on Dave Demai as an advanced forward attack. And we're going to put Nishi on the bench and use him as an impact sub uh, for this game and see, see if he does anything. So... Let's go for it and see. I also, Actually, I also brought on uh, Dalhouse for, in place of Raz. Just because he seems to be playing better in that role. And Raz has had a couple of bad games. So I wanted to give him a rest. Um, I don't want these people to think that they are... Um, they're like guaranteed a game. Uh, yes, we do. Need to step up our game and put an re uh, end to our recent run uh, of bad form. Make me proud, boys. Midfielders. Make me proud. Attackers, make me proud. Kick it off. Please, I need a win. <laughs> we haven't had a win for about five games. It's been bad. Okay, first chance is a corner to us. Amivor gets in there, but headed clear. Vermeulen to Sleggers. Back to Vermeulen. Come on, boys. We're very... Oh, we're, we're kind of stepping on each other's toes here. Come on. 
give each other some space and some space to pass into. Perfect. Dalhaus again. Virginia in. Van der Sand. <sighs> he gets it again, though. Sleggers. Yes, to my. Okay. You know what? I put my faith in a youngster and I probably shouldn't have. I should have given Demai more playtime. And he's come back to say, this is why you play me. I get the goals. It was it was an interesting chance. Uh, Van der Sand nearly getting there, but Cannon's off the crossbar, I think. Gets it back, plays it through to Sleggers. Sleggers finds Demai with a pretty simple pass. So, uh, happy with that. Are they checking for offside? It was so clearly not offside. I don't know why they need to check for that. 1-0. Thank goodness for that. It's been a while since we scored a goal as well. Okay, another chance for us. We've got free kick. Plays it short. Oh, lovely ball up to Demai. Oh, my goodness. How did that not go in? He's playing with some confidence now. Another chance straight after Dowhaus. Cross in. Brim with a good header, but it was very far away from the goal. So, easily caught. Okay, now we need to just make sure we don't fall asleep in defence because they're now on the attack. Bringing the ball forward with some nice passing. Oh, yeah, they found a space. Bertrams to the rescue. Flipping neck. Thank you, Bertrams. Okay, a free kick to us in really good position. I don't know if we have Sleggers any good at free kicks. Well, that's not bad. It was going in. Needed a good save. So... But we have a corner now. Let's see if we can make him suffer a little bit more just before half time. But good save again. Their keeper is playing pretty well, I'm not going to lie. Even though he's let a goal in. Virginia with Van der Sand now. Sleggers to Dalhouse. Oh, Dalhouse. Oh, headed away. Demai can get there, but Sadoff now has it on the other wing. Puts it in. Van der Sand, yes! I'll tell you what, Van der Sand has been our goal getter. Um, he's scored a few goals when we've needed it. Um, so he he might be our player of the season so far. <laughs> I'm not going to lie because everyone else is playing pretty poor. So he's a veteran for um, Eindhoven as well. He's been here for a few years. So glad to see he's performing for us. Alrighty then. Oh, just before halftime, literally on the cusp. Are they going to score? No. Yes, Bertrams. What a save. Oof, I was worried there. I thought it was going to be a bad bad turn of events. But we get the ball. Should be half time. We're a minute over at a time. Sleggers now has the ball up to Downhouse. Sleggers, long ball forward to Demai. He's onside. Can he get there? He does. Makes it three just before half time. Question marks over if the half time whistle should have been blown. But I will not argue that. Fantastic ball by Sleggers. Demai with a really interesting finish. Saved, but the keeper couldn't get back in time. And Demai just mops up. Really, he's really showing me, you should have been playing me all this time. And I, I kind of regret that I didn't. We need to replace Virginia because he is not playing great. And I am going to put my trust in a young uh, Sam... Onyx? I'm not really sure how you say that. I'm going to put him as a complete wing-back support. Because that's what he likes to play as. There you go. Complete wing-back support. And we're going to see how he does. He's a youngster. He, he's only like 19. so. But if he can break through into the team when Virginia is not playing well, then go for it, mate. We're going to go to the dressing room and we're going to say... Uh, very happy with things. Keep it up, lads. Let's do this. Start the second half and let's get more goals. We need confidence and we need to get our goal difference a lot better than it is. So, okay. So, our ball, we've got it from a throw in. Sadorf taking it forward. Brim in the area. Kind of weak shot, but it goes out for a corner. We'll see what happens from this. Hopefully, we might be able to get another goal. The house. Vander Sand, I'm telling you. I'm, co I'm committing to this guy. I won't build the team around him. I think Van der Sand is a player that we can build a team around for like next season. We keep hold of him. A lot of other players maybe we have to get rid of because they're not pulling their weight and they're actually costing quite a lot of money, some of them. Um, but overall, we're playing well. I might just pause it for the last little bit. We've got some tired legs out there. Come on, Nishi. I'll give you, I'll give you the run out. 
he, they want him to play as an advance forward, the people who loaned us out. And they complained to us recently that we didn't play him as an advance forward. So I'll, I'll play him as an advance forward. And we're just going to take Amivor off because he's looking tired. Uh, confirm the changes. Uh, they haven't got long to play, but uh, should have done it a little bit earlier. But there you go. 4 0 win. That's the sort of response we needed. Loving it. Demai played absolutely amazing. Can't take him down now, can I? And so did uh, Van der Sand. Actually, he played awesome. Um, all of our midfield played out of their skins. Played absolutely immense. And most of our defence as well. I'm, I've got question marks over Amnivore. He plays really well with Vermeulen. They've got like, a good relationship. But I don't know how good he actually is. He's supposed to be our best defender. Uh, well done, lads. Good win for us. They're looking happy and inspired. That's what I like to see. And yeah, so that uh, win puts us 12th with 12 points. Um, so we much needed. And our next game is against De Graf. Oh, how the heck do you say Graf Shop? Uh, let's see where they are in the league. Oh, they're 17th. And again, another game which potentially could be a good uh, good result for us because they're playing quite poorly. Amazingly as well, Ajax, the second team for Ajax, is only got eight points this season is like right at the bottom. Did not think that would be uh, that would be the case because most of the young teams are up here. So interesting to see that happening. And also, Den Haag have had six points deducted from for their financial management. Naughty, naughty. Okay, just a quick note before we go to our next game. We played so well last game. We've got five players in the team of the week. Keeper Bertram's played amazing. Slegers, Dalhouse, uh, Demai and Van der Sand. Dalhouse and Demai, both players who haven't uh, been in the squad. The first team showing me, put me in the first team and I'll get you some re results. So definitely giving me a lot to think about. Okay, so... Um, we are going to now be playing the Grafschap, I think it is. Um, and I'm going to not change the team. I'm going to keep it Dahlhaus to Mai up front. We've got Bertrams in goal, Amivor and Vermeulen in the middle. We've got Sadoff and Virginia on the left and right. Brim, Paulinho, Slegers playing in the midfield of Van der Sand, playing with Demai up front. It all worked really well uh, last game. I'm hoping it will work just as well this game. Uh, we've got plenty of depth on the bench, ready to come on if we need it. The only difference, maybe, is Slegers, he had a great game last game. He hasn't been having great games recently. Like Maybe De Kersmacher or someone like that might drop in to his position if uh, he continues to not have great games. But we're going we're gonna to keep the faith and play him. We're going to say, pick up where you left off last time, lads. I want to see goals. I want to see comfortable football. Okay, so Sadorf trying to burst forward didn't work. This is where we have problems when we've got the wing backs bursting forward and then they hit us on the attack. Luckily, I think we've got quite good defensive shape at the moment. Come on, close, close, close. <laughs> Oof. Luckily, shot from outside the box goes over. We're all good. Okay, so they're now on the attack coming down the wing. Holds it up, plays it back to outside the area. Good um, cover, just making them force it back into passing. Oh, that's a great through ball, though. Ah, oh, damn it. Apoku is uh, the player that we had to watch out for, and we watched him score instead. Great. Okay, we're going to skip that uh, re replay, replay. We don't want to see that. Um, come on, lads. Let's not go down two before half time. Corner to them. Uh, Van de Pavert, just a normal header top corner and we're back to our old ways of just letting in cheap goals look at this two players on him no one got it oh so frustrating this team they have moments of magic and then they just fall apart on other games and you just like what do you do don't want to have, have him sent off so i'm going to bring on actually i'm going to bring on angie um i think he might play better as an inverted wing yeah inverted wing support so, in you go. Um, who else isn't playing great? Downhouse is having a poor game. Vermeulen is having a really bad game. So, off you go for Pionberg. 
Um, Virginia's not having a great game either. So we're going to bring him off for Sam. Uh, Sam prefers to play as a complete wing back support, doesn't he? And then, I mean, strikers are doing absolute shocking as well. Let's bring on Nishi. See if Nishi can do anything. And let's just have absolutely terrible. Come on, boys. Second half, we need to get something. It's 2 0. Let's go attacking as well. Okay, our free kick floated forward to no one. <laughs> what a waste. That was an opportunity. It just spurned. Okay, Van der Sand, nicely got it. Sleggers, again, look, what was that pass? It was just a hit and hope. Angie, on the edge of the box to Sleggers, to Dalhaus. Yes, what a finish. Okay. We can get a draw at least out of this game, if not a win. Um, I did not want it. I, I keep doing that instead of shouts. Encourage. I'm going to encourage them now. We can get something out of this. Angie gets the ball. This is Sleggers. Plays a nice ball to him. Dowhouse gets it. Boom. Top corner. Smashed it. That's what we need. Okay. Our free kick again. Sleggers. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> it's the second time now that he's done something like that. It's an absolute waste. Come on. Close him. Well played. No, not well played. Oh, very not well played. It all came from Sam just dropping his man. And now it's just... We get one sniff at a chance to come back into the game. It's like gone straight away. <sighs> okay, Sam plays it forward to no one. Our passing needs to be more direct. Like, we are really bad at passing at the moment. And no one's closing him. Like, just giving him as much space as possible, aren't you? Okay, Sam with a free kick to Sleggers. At least Sleggers isn't smashing it up to no one. Bjornberg. Actually, didn't do anything with it. Van der Sand tried to do something, but... Just at least forced it back. Okay, boys. Um, we might have to put a higher press on. Okay. They are looking comfortable with the ball as well. Good save by Bertrams, but um, corners have not been our friend this game. Oh, thank goodness for that, Bertrams. Well done. Okay, free kick by Sam. Ooh, lovely little ball over to Dalhouse. Yes! Nishi. I called him Nashi, didn't I? It's Nishi. Oh, Okay. 77 minutes, 3-2. Look at this little dink over by uh, Sam. Beautiful. And then Downhouse in the middle. Beautiful. Easy finish, but finish nonetheless. Okay. Sadorf with the throw straight away. Okay, Nishi. Angie. Van Sand. Oh, what a poor... He's playing bad this game. Everyone who I've bigged up last game, playing awful. Sadorf couldn't get there. Oh, Van Sand. Please, see the run. Thank you, Nishi. I ask only one thing, and you don't do it. One goal, and that was the chance. Damn it. Yeah, we're starting to lose our, uh, our edge. We get tired legs out there. Full time, 3-2. Not as bad as it could have been uh, from the start of the game when we were 2-0 down. We did start uh, to build up a comeback, but um, overall, poor. Poor by the lads. We had some good players out there, to be honest. Bertrams, again, had a great game, um, despite letting in three. Um, Dowhouse had a lot better second half than he did a first half. Bringing on Nishi was perfect, and Angie as well, actually. Although he's a 6.4, I don't know why. He seemed to be uh, doing pretty well at kind of pulling the strings there. Um, I'm not happy. Mm, I don't know, because I am actually happy with some of theirs. Unlucky boys would have been nice if it wasn't a B. Yeah, because to be fair, it was a hard game for them. And uh, a lot of them did play quite well. But on to the next game. Flipping heck, have they already secured a playoff spot? How is that even possible? We've got like... We've got so many more games left. Wow. Okay, well, we're going to finish up this video, I think, against Young Ajax. And uh, hopefully, we're not going to get absolutely spanked by them. Alrighty then, here we go with the last game of the video. Young Ajax. It's going to be a hard game again. 
Uh, we've got a lot of them, a lot of hard games to play uh, this season, but it's all about building this team, you know? Got a lot of players here which have got quite good potential. Uh, I think it's just going to take some time to, for them to get used to the tactics. Familiarity is is pretty high now with this this uh, specific tactic, and we're playing the players quite regularly in their positions. I'm hoping they're going to start to click. If not, we're in trouble. So we're going to submit the same team as it was last game, uh, and then we're going to go to match. I think maybe come January. Uh, when I get those two new players in, we're going to play at five at the back. Get a bit more defensive. Um, go out there and press me, yeah. Uh, just to see if playing a defensive line uh, more than like this kind of bog standard four four two might help. Like the extra defender gives us that cover. Oh my goodness! All right then. Two minutes in. I don't even know what happened there. It wasn't good, though. Let's have a look here. Long ball by Jensen. Forward to Marta. He, I don't even know how that bounced over to Daniel Daniello Pier, Piera, Piera. But um, there you go, it did. So let's just skip that. We're 1-0 down against Young Ajax at home. We need to start doing something different, I think. I mean, we are always playing positive. Maybe if we play a bit more balanced, that might help. Might give us a little bit of a uh, control at the back. Seidorf, well done. We'll cut out. Forward to Demai. He's got plenty of space here. Maybe we can do something here, please. Seidorf charging forward. Lovely run. Flipping heck. If he would have got a goal there, that would have been absolutely insane. Unfortunately... He just passed it straight to the keeps. Okay, our corner. Dalhouse puts it in. Van der Sand went for it. Backed out to Dalhouse. To my... Oh. Free kick to them. Uh, free kick booted forwards. Well headed on by their player. And now they're, they're completely in control of this game. You can tell. Look at them. Passing it around like nobody's business. I'm going to give them a little encouragement as well. I'm going to encourage them. Come on, lads. I believe in you. I think that we we have enough in us to beat this team if we can just get a goal and get a bit more confidence in our ability. Flipping heck, that, was, that would have been an amazing goal. <laughs> I'm glad that didn't go in. Would have been absolutely... Morale would have been rock bottom after that goal. Okay, their free kick. Jensen is going to put... Ooh, a little pass to Marta. Oh, man. Come on. Too easy. Look at that. The pass and then the... Okay, I feel like we're going to lose this one as well. Unless we can do something at half time to switch these around. Because look at that. He turns his man way too easy. He finds the pass and where's the defender on his man? We just... It's like schoolboys playing in a, a Premier League team, isn't it? Shocking. Shocking stuff right now. Oh. They're throwing. They're going to make it worse for us, aren't they? Come on, put a challenge in. Someone. Flip an Equa goal. Oh, to be fair, this Daniello Pereira, uh, I think is like basically a first team member, nearly. He's like a really good player for them. And it's just playing in the reserves this season just to get like, I think probably he's a bit young. Well done, Sleggers. Actually doing something there. Dalhouse. Virginia, can you get one goal back before half time? Through to Van der Sand. Play it back to Virginia. Uh, where was that? Seidorf. Something. In. Demai. Yes! We got a goal back at least. Beautiful assist by Seidorf. Seidorf's having a good game. Awful by Virginia. I think he's coming off again. I think I might not I might not even start him next game. I might give the youngster another a, a go as a starter. Great header by Demai, though. Top corner. Smashed it. The annoying thing is, they, uh, yeah, he's not offside. Cool. They, uh, we're, we've got the momentum and it's going to go half time. Or is it? <laughs> They're going <laughs> to score. They're going to be like, you know what? How dare you score against us? We're going to get another one. Nicely cleared by Virginia. Gorta, their keeper, just holding it up. 
Come on. Yes, Amivore. Nice. Watch your man. Cool. Polinio to Van San. Demai. Oh, no. If you're going to do a cheeky chip like that, you have to actually score it, mate. That's embarrassing. Okay. Demai's playing great. Van der Sand's playing all right. Where's Demai play? He's best at... Uh, he can play false, false nine, actually. Potential. Okay. I have an idea. I'm going to mix things up. So advance forward. Play him as a false nine support. Bring on Nishi. He's he's flying high after that, his first goal. Then bring on Sam for Virginia, who uh, says he's playing well, but I, I don't think he is playing that well. Uh, oh, we want him as a support, not as attack. Then Sadoff's playing great. We don't want to take him off. Paulinho is not having a good game. So... Van's son, I believe, probably would be the best like-for-like -like replacement. We'll make him a support midfield instead of defence midfield. Yeah. Three changes to try and do something with this game. Left mid, how's he doing? He's doing alright, actually, this game. So we'll keep him on, and Andrew will have to be... You've been terrible, sort it out. Yes. Let's not min mince our words. You've been awful. Get out there and do something. Okay. They have the ball. Just passing it around in their defence. A really high line for their defence. To be fair though, our, we haven't got a single man. Like We're all in our own half. Just praying they don't score again. Looking like it. Okay. We just need to have one good foot in. And then hit him on the counter. Come on boys. Yes. Like that Nishi. Look, Brim, for the run. Nishi, you've got that pace. Nishi, look for the person in the middle. Van Sun will do. Van Sun will do! What a shot by Van Sun. Two of my subs linking up perfectly. Look at that. Great ball by Brim to find Nishi anyway. And Nishi was the person who won the ball back. Picks out his man, Van Sun. I was like a bit far out, but go for it. What a curling shot into that bottom corner. Okay. We have a chance to get a point out of this, at least. Come on. I said that last time, actually, and we got absolutely spanked. So, uh, let, let's in, uh, encourage. Yeah. Oh, come on. One goal. That's all we need. Yeah, we'll take... Uh, let's leg us off. Okay, their free kick. Van der Schoot. He doesn't look like he wants it. Back to keeps. But a keeps goal kick can easily get past our entire defence at the moment, so... Um, oh damn, Jensen! What a touch! Took it. We well, took it past two players with one touch. Okay, over. They haven't scored. Three two. Oh no! Ninetieth minute. We yeah. We we haven't done it. We lost again. Three two. Ah, damn it. Far from pleased. Yeah. Good. They need to know that it's not acceptable to be losing games, even if it's against a good a good team like that. So, overall, it's not been a very successful run. What I will do, I think I'll probably play the next six or seven games, and then we'll come back in December. We'll play those three games, and probably go into January and look at changing the... Uh, uh, tactics for the next video uh, at the end of the next video so uh, yeah we'll I'll be playing this Dutch Cup hopefully will give us a bit of a confidence boost Excelsior are damn they're third it's going to be a hard game 12 points we're not too far off bottom to be fair we could easily drop down there with a couple of more bad results so you see that uh, Daniello Pereira that I was speaking about from Young Ajax, top scorer in the league at the moment, and he's got a really high average rating. I, I, it's that if without him, I think we probably would have beaten that squad, uh, that Ajax squad. Uh, and I think probably in this, uh, in the next few uh, fixtures, I'm going to put my trust in some of the youngsters and put them on instead of some of the players who aren't playing as well, and just see how we do. Uh, with them and maybe their players that I've got to keep because at the moment I've only had four wins in the season and oh, two no draws so we don't hold out for a draw that's for sure 
uh, five, six, seven, eight, eight losses. So we need to do a little bit of changing around. I think this is going to be a hard season anyway. It's our first season. Trying to stay to the wage budget. We have no wage, like no one else to bring in um, because we have no like wiggle room. So I think next season, if we can survive, we might be able to do something. Some of the players' contracts will be up and it won't, we won't have to try and force them out or anything like that. And uh, also we'll hopefully be given a bit more of a wage budget. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. Um, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you when I see you.